amazing creatures in flight, our national symbol. Bald eagles have been brought back from the edge of extinction. We are really lucky in that we live in Oregon and we have these amazing natural resources. So why would anyone want to shoot one? Sometimes it's opportunistic. Um, they just enjoy killing things. It can be a thrill kill. Uh, for some raptors, it can be um, an attempt to illegally harvest feathers or talons. There is a black market for those. Yvonne Shaw runs ODFW's Stop Poaching campaign. She says they don't believe harvesting was the reason a bald eagle was shot and killed at Portland International Raceway on April 5th. Or for this bald eagle to be shot and injured found in a tree in West Lynn April 28th. This raptor was lucky. It survived, and Portland Audubon has been helping it heal ever since. In both cases, there is reward money that leads to the arrest and conviction of whoever did the shooting. First, there was $1,000 from Portland Audubon. And on Tuesday, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service put up $2,500 more. Then the conservation group Oregon Wildlife Foundation put up another $1,000. $4,500 total if you can turn the guilty in. It's against the law and it's against our ethics to, um, to poach these, these beautiful birds. They are a symbol of our country and of our freedom. Um, and so people who partake in poaching are breaking laws. And in this particular case, it's, it's, it strikes home because this is our national symbol. Because the bald eagle is federally protected, the penalty for killing them can be up to $100,000 in fines and up to a year in federal prison trying to protect a creature that has come back from the brink to fly in our northwest skies. Anytime one of these animals is taken illegally, it deprives other Oregonians of the opportunity to experience, say, an eagle out in the wild. And the same can be said for any wildlife killed illegally for any reason. So if you see something or know something, say something. We've got all the information that you need on how to turn in a tip in my story at KGW.com. Tim Gordon, KGW News.